Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In today's episode, we'll be heading back into... Come on. Did you... Oh, thank you. Uh, heading back into the harbour to pick up a couple more shiny sprites, because we did sort of have to cut our stay quite short. Both considering we killed the... the thing. Um... No. We killed the blooper and got booted out of the level, and then because we had to go deal with the, the lighter situation. Anyway, blooper surfing safari. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, slow fail right now. Do you have anything to say? <clears throat> That's right, I'm a big fan of blooper surfing. Yeah, okay. They like surfing, I'll find a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but one thing, big daddy way, it's all liability for accidents. Okay. Now, hang loose, bud. Okay, well, these bloopers, the green ones, control very well. The red ones, go really fast. The yellow ones, they go not quite as fast as, as the red ones, but they go faster than the green ones, coincidentally. They're not quite as slow to control as the red ones, but they are slower than the green ones. So we're going to be picking the yellow, partly because it's one of my favorite colors, and partly because I've just always used it. Oh, follow these coins here. Let's see if I can. Yes! Lovely. That's about our That's muddy. Oh, you wanna go for a right, bud? Go ahead and jump on the blooper yellow first. Go on, shove some super blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. Sure thing, matey boy. Now, these, you can just jump on top, slide, and cast. These are very difficult, just pick a path and stay on it. Uh, go around like that. That one's a little tricky. <clears throat> it really doesn't matter if you go, if you go a little bit on land. Uh, these just don't ride on them, it will be fun. Uh, much better. Here you can cut across these quite happily. Ooh. Easy peasy. And there's the shine. Symbolize. Lovely. Just take the thing, thank you. Right, sorry about this slight delay there. I had to uh, go get my phone because I need to keep somewhat track of the time I spent recording. So I don't have to do loads of editing, also, that I don't. But, uh, go! Wait, DB. The fruit freighter, formerly unable to leave port, has now temporarily resumed service. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, which is number third? Oh, right, another th another secret, and this was kind of tricky. I might as well show how to do this thing. Because uh, we're here, and it is a little bit tricky. Uh, yeah, the cage. Oh no, I I'm misremembering. The the cage shine sprite is far simpler than you'd imagine. I hope. see here now, because I'm fairly certain. Okay, that's... Yep, that's what I get for being confident. Now, here we go. And up here... Now, this is a massive fat in reality. Can we do the cheese method? I don't think we can. Sod it, I'm going to show you the... Uh, the long, tedious and boring way of doing this. Climb up here, 
these gates, we can punch with the B button to uh, flip them. Please. Hey, you get an automatic slow down these things. And go across like that. Those, uh. I was about to say spidery things, but now they're not spiders. But they don't have. They don't have half the required amount of legs to be proper spiders. Uh, can I make it? Can I make it? No! <laughs> nice. Nice job, me. Well, just make it back to this place. That's annoying. Now, let's see here. You know what? Let's do the quick method hit. Come on, hurry. Okay, we're going to have to wait here for a second. Whilst we get ready and hopefully not get squirted by a... You know what? This was so much easier. There's the thing we want. Oh, these winged enemies. Uh, they're, as far as I'm aware, invincible. Unlike to annoy you with, uh, you know, by knocking into you as you're, uh, traversing high places. Whoa! Close. Oh, I don't do this. Okay, that's a little... That's much better. There we go. That wasn't terrible. Can you thank you? That's quite quick. I think we're time for one more. Yeah, we have time for one more. Why not? And this time, I think... Do I? Yes, I do. But uh, I think I'm going to show off this... This game's first kind of almost real. No, I was going to say this game's first real boss fight, but now that was Peter Piranha. Uh, no, uh, the first boss fight of this? Of, uh, of Garth Beach. Which is, has to do with a wiggler, I believe, unless my memory is. Yes, my memory is absolute crap. It's, uh, have to deal with the uh, Catacoax and Mirrors. Mirror Madness, Tilt Slam Bam. Lovely. <laughs> alert, alert, just leg at the top of the tower. Mm, yep, that's a Wiggler. And these are Catacoax, or weird Catacoax. Some weird thing is curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the, leg the legendary sandbird egg. Oh, we're gonna have loads of fun with our sandbird later on. So, the game plan for these is quite simply. No, don't. There we go. So for that is very, very simply. Why hold on them until they start to teeter like that? Round pan the other side and just flip them off the panel. Mario. I've never only gone the panel again. I forgot I wasn't using the hover muscle. That's not what I wanted to do. Can I make it a leap? No, I can't. No, that's not how you do that either. There we go, give me my assault. No, oh, that's the wrong way. Oh. 
Why did I switch? Well, way too premature. Can I... Uh... Oh. Okay. That's weird. Ooh. Okay, now. Well, they're quite close already. Just working back to get better once more. And there we go. Lovely. That's another one. Just one more. Use this as a trampoline, lovely. I don't know why I continue to pan. Come on. Much better. I'm convinced I have gotten uh, all three of them up in one ground pound once. Uh, it's fiddly, but it can be done. Just didn't care to fuck around too much. I think the thing you could see over there in the distance, uh, I think that was Rico Harbour. That's another charm about this game. You can see different areas from other areas, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, it all sort of feels very interconnected. Which is nice, that's one of the reasons against like Dark Souls and Bloodborne and such that are so uh, praised by their fanbase. They, they are big interconnected worlds, and of course the lore and gameplay and all the other facts as well. And what the hell is that? Well, we're going to have a look at that in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please press like. If you want to see more, uh, press subscribe. And if you have something to say, do so in the comments. I'm as always, Glacer. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.